three, two, and oh my gosh, it started and I didn't even know, but who's on the camera? This is Mark, Hol Mr. Holiday from My Worst Holiday Podcast. <laughs> there it is, baby. I knew you could do it. <laughs> like, yes, she won't I fuck it up. I had it right here. I'm like, she's not going to fuck it up. She's awesome. She's a professional. That's yes. what I had right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. This behind the mic. <laughs> no, no, this is a special behind the mic because it's a dear friend of mine. Like, you know, we are friends, right? Oh, stop. We go way back. <laughs> we, we hang out on Facebook Messenger, okay? Off, off the podcast, okay? Yeah, you know, and and I like I I, I don't know, like the the more famous people I've interviewed and stuff like that. Like I don't even stay in touch with them, like I do with you. Like especially like when we're like half hammered at night, like I'm coming. <laughs> right. I get the through. I'm like, oh yeah, God, God, let me fix myself. <laughs> What's up? I'm hammered. <laughs> just can't call like regular people i gotta get a camera <laughs> exactly nothing's better than face to face that's right as long as you look okay to show your face i'm enjoying your artwork here behind you and everything and uh thanks yeah this one is not my creation but these ones are those ones are all well, right you see them but yeah i paint to my, my teeth <laughs> this is my creation this is my <laughs> <laughs> you painting it yourself? <laughs> All by myself. <laughs> I love the abstract. But no, seriously, you are um, like a joy to have on here because I, you're going to bring the 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 laughter, the the fun part of. I don't think anybody's going to live up to that part of the, this because you know it's my new shit behind the mic, right? And it's wow. about the creator. You're a creator. You're behind the mic, and you have a significant show. Um, my worst holiday, which I would I had a chance to be on, and I'm gonna allow you to tell the people about what it takes and what you must do to be on. Well, you know, for, for me it's a it's a different deal because I'm not like most <laughs> podcasters, you know, like I don't really rely on me for the content. I rely I'm not a QA guy. Like everybody else is like, you know, like they, they get on, I don't know, uh like D Snyder's son. Okay. So I've had Jesse Blaze Snyder, who's a fantastic artist. Uh, he's a great, uh, he's a great musician. If you haven't heard him, look him up. Jesse, Jesse Blaze Snyder. It's D Snyder's son. He's fantastic. Now, every other show he's been on, everybody's like, Ooh, D Snyder, D Snyder, D Snyder. I didn't ask him one fucking time about his dad. So, like, <laughs> and his dad is D Snyder from the band Twisted Sister huge 80, 80s band they were like uh, one of the first to come out and drag as far as heavy metal you know uh they did the we're not gonna take oh, it okay gotcha <laughs> yeah, that's Lee snyder and twisted sister now his son does voiceover work he's done some acting stuff he's part of the muppet cinderella show uh movie um he's he's, he's done all this stuff and, the, and and i made a promise the one thing i'm not gonna fucking ask him <laughs> Is about his dad because it wasn't about his dad, it was about him, you know. And I, I just and I he told me a great funny story about him, uh, shitting his pants. He almost made it home, very close. <laughs> but, yeah, so, but I have people tell me funny, embarrassing life stories again. My show's called My Worst Holiday. And people tell me their most funny or embarrassing life stories, and it doesn't matter if you're an actor or if you're a podcaster or if you're just a friend. Uh, everybody has these stories yeah. that you, you're sitting in a bar, you know, and you're, you're having fun with your friends. And what are you doing with your friends? You're telling fucking stories and that's what you're doing. And you're laughing and everything else like that. And so that's, that's the whole point of it. And that's the fun of it. Just yeah. having people Original. tell me stories and then we fill in, you know, like a jab here and there and make, basically make fun of your story. <laughs> you're it. So it, it, my job's easy. I heckle. <laughs> <laughs> Classic, original. It's original. Like, and you're right. You don't have to do much. Your content is the actual guest. So without yes. the guest, you can even like go yes. solo, really. Like, because uh, it's like, no, I need. That's my content is the person that. <laughs> if they're willing to humiliate, not even humiliate, but possibly <laughs> you could say that. But if they're willing to share it. See, well, here's the thing. Like the Q and A will come organically. Like you, you'll never see me with like a list of. Of uh, of questions that I'm going to ask, I don't know. It's all organic. It's just 
it's right now it's in the moment and it's free flowing and and if it gets low i'll be like all right well we gotta get off of here um because yeah. you suck um let's <laughs> I've seen an episode like that before. You had a guest. I can't remember who it was, but it's somebody I knew, I had on. I knew. And I was thinking like, oh, let's see how this goes. Because she yeah. struck me as one of those. And as she was talking, I saw your face kind of like. Oh, yes. She she told me a serious fucking story. Uh -oh. And I like, I did like. You, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and, right? Uh, You're like, she's oh, lovely. And, and, the, and the story was. God, it was intense, but it wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, you know, and, and my criteria is flat out my criteria. I say it every time and it fucks me up because I'm, I'm like, okay, I've got this show called my worst holiday and my guests tell me funny or embarrassing life stories, keywords, funny or embarrassing, not someone got fucking murdered. No, no, no. I, no, no. Trying to look at me for oh, it. Bless her and heart. Like, oh, she meant well. <laughs> and, and, and another another person that was watching, he's like, what, like the looks on you and Stobby's faces. <laughs> because, see, this makes for a funny story too, because of it, because out of tragedy comes comedy. And so like, she's they just my friend. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know what to say. I was like, oh. she's serious, right? She's intense, right? It, yeah, and then the police came out and they were searching with the dog and a, for the body? Like, a, a body? Like, <laughs> just like, that's why I was just like, wow, like, that, that was funny. <laughs> I knew it was going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I still talk to her every now and again. Uh, mm -hmm. just a banter back and forth, but yeah, God, she's like, she go, I want to come back on your show, and I'm like, great, okay, make a list of your <laughs> funny or most embarrassing life stories, and then she didn't didn't respond back to it. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about murder no more. I'm not a murder podcast. <laughs> like, it's fucking. Oh my goodness. Well, and just watching it goes. You, you've seen my my uh my log you know my sign in you know i've got a, I, I got a my worst holiday <laughs> <laughs> i'm like for a room next to my bathroom in my basement this is my worst holiday you know like i'm all up and everything and then it's like mm, you <laughs> oh, yeah, so right? my first husband died and then um i was dating a guy and he was killed um on my property um <laughs> 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 That was, that was that was so hard to work with this one. <laughs> right, I remember that episode, and I was just looking at the camera. I was like, I don't know what if I type, but I was just like, hmm. wrong venue. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> Look, did you air it? Did you air it? Did you air it? Wrong venue. That's all there was to it. Just a wrong venue. Just... Were you able to air that? Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I recorded it, put it up, and everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I significantly remember that because <laughs> so, I was thinking, like, have you ever had like an episode? Like, that's probably one of them. Have you ever had an episode where somebody came on and either just flat out had no, no, no funny, no embarrassing moment, or thought they might have had one, and you were just like, wah, wah, wah. Oh, oh God, yeah, I had a. Uh, it was a podcast. I can't remember. It was a tetraside something like that podcast. Um, but I had those guys on and they're like, Oh yeah, we got, <laughs> we got stories. I'm like, Oh, okay. All right. And I'm like, okay, so hit us with a story. What do you got? <laughs> He's like, well, we went skiing and I got to the top of the mountain and I broke my leg. <laughs> and like, <laughs> I were you just like staring at him or you're like, was, that was, it, yeah, like like stories, long stories. I need mean, you know how long a podcast lasts, right? <laughs> like, you have a fucking podcast. You know how long they last. Take it here. And there you have it. Like, and that's a wrap, folks. All right, he broke his leg at the top of a mountain from my yeah. bathroom next to my bathroom. Hey, I can't even say it. What was that? This funny? Was my worst holiday. Was it embarrassing or was it funny? Because first of all, it wasn't funny. <laughs> embarrassing, but it is just like, ooh, 
Thanks, guys. That was a. Uh... You should have the thing that goes womp womp. <laughs> I need a, I need a womp womp womp. Or do a countdown oh. of all the not funny, uh, my word. <laughs> like top ten. He's like, so I flew to the Philippines. Like, yeah. It was a long flight. Oh dear. <laughs> Staler than bread, huh? <laughs> Still in the world, still. I, like, I, know, I, know, still. I know most people are as funny as me, but God, give me the fuck. Like, is this where they got the definition? Very of arrogant. It's stale. not true. So many people are funnier. Than me. <laughs> very lots of people are funnier than me. So, well, the point of being funny is supposed to be funny. Funny is supposed to make you. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh. Like, there's several things I say when I reach out to people. Number one. I have a comedy podcast called My Worst Holiday. <laughs> okay. And then funny or embarrassing last story. And then like, uh, oh God, this, this is the one that drives me. Like at least at least some people are trying, you know, uh, or, or I put a little bit of thought into it. Uh, the one that kills me is was like, okay, you know, you've had the floor. You've introduced yourself. You told us what you got going on, where they can send you money, stuff like that. And, and, and when I when I'm done with my lead in, that's what I have people do. Tell me about you. You have the floor. I want to hear everything about you. If they can send you money, what do you got coming up? All that stuff. And then after that's done, I go, okay, hit us with a story. And they go, oh, uh, <laughs> story. Yeah, like a month ago when I fucking texted you and said, tell me fucking stories. Does it have to be funny? Yes, it has to be fucking funny. <laughs> if not, I'm just gonna mock you for an hour and you're gonna leave with a fucking complex. So right. tell a story or I completely mind fuck you. One of the two. And then we're gonna watch your episode and we're gonna make fun of it. Yeah, exactly. We should do that. No, okay. So <laughs> no, no, we had a great show. I love your show. Your show. It was cold out. I remember, I remember it was cold out and I said. Oh, my nipples are hard. And you go, yeah, mine too. And I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I completely like, before I get into, because I don't really have like a Q&A. I kind of, especially with you, you can't have one. You, you just go with the flow. Like, you just got to. It's too easy, right? But. You're just, you're just friends talking. I don't right. know why people have to make this so fucking complicated. Yeah. It's just people talking. It, you, you I don't like people in an interview. Yeah. yeah. You know? And if they're famous, okay. Most people do. Uh, like, that's why Jay and I really, we didn't uh, click. This is why, because he was more of a Q&A guy. And I was mm -hmm. more of a just off the hip guy. Like, like I'd look at him, stop fucking asking questions. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean co-hosting it, it does have to work especially with that you know what i mean but you got that shit on lock all by yourself not no 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 disrespect jay you're cool you're cool nice guy. no jay's cool as fuck oh i love jay he's very funny he, he's one of the funnier people it, we uh he sends me uh pictures all the time that are just deplorable um <laughs> but anyway, and so he's been, he's dating a psychologist right now he's actually dating a psychologist i said is this your first time being part of a control group <laughs> <laughs> you know the funny thing about what you just said right now is I remember being on and it was like that was like something that was talked about. I don't know if he was dating somebody or he spoke of a chick or a past relationship or an experience. Something came up where I remember remember him speaking of it was funny, but if he was in a relationship or somebody he was going out on a date with that night or something. He was he had just he had just started going through a divorce. Uh. Yeah, and then we ended up having her on, his ex-wife, on later. I thought, wow, okay. Yeah, no, they're still friendly. Yeah, they're still friendly. You know, it's like it's all she, has good. Some, she has some funny shit to say. To she has some funny things. Yeah, she was talking about like it was all the stories that he'd already told me anyway, but it was, it was from her perspective. <laughs> you know, which was again another perspective is great. There's two sides of every story. You know, so it was all fun. Next edition, my worst holiday couples edition. Yeah. Oh. Okay. If I can get, if I can get my wife in, uh, you like she, it, she, don't you? She, you like she's, it? Huh? You like that, don't you? I do. 
two women at one time? Fuck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh no, dear. no. My wife, really? I wish I could get my wife on. I wish I could get my wife on. She is, well, she well, makes me well, laugh well. out loud. Like, we, but she's, she's so fucking funny. Why won't you come? Wife, we need you. She's, we a, she's a unicorn. She's a redhead with blue eyes. <laughs> and you never see you. They're, the, they're like the, uh, it's the least populous people on the earth is redheads with blue eyes. That's awesome. I love redheads. Something about them is fiery. <laughs> You know, a couple things. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so done. So, <laughs> right. so, so this reminds me of the story. Like when I introduced her to my uh, to my grandma, it was like uh, it was like uh, uh, like Easter or Thanksgiving or something like that. But <laughs> uh, they always had grandma always had uh, these old ladies that she'd invite, and I'd have to go pick them up and stuff like that. But there's another story about that. But but anyway, they're all. They're all sitting at the table, cackling. All the old hens are sitting there just clucking. And uh, and I go walking up, and my wife is with me, and my grandma goes, Now, now this is this is Mark's friend Morgan. And I said, Yeah, grandma, you should see what Mark does to his friend. And, then, <laughs> oh, no. and all the old all the old hens are like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my God. She was so pissed. Oh, my wife was so pissed off at me. <laughs> that would have been a great episode. <laughs> God. Uh, old people's edition. Old people edition. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I'm not ideal, so I come what I did. I'm telling you. I, <laughs> I just, I just want to bring in the ones with uh, dementia. You know, it's like. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I was. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> it's 80 fucking degrees. I'm cold. You know, a really good one would be, which I've been wanting to do, but some stuff you're like, oh, teacher's edition, because teachers say and hear, you like, have you ever cursed? Have your students ever caught you? You're like, no. Yes. <laughs> it's like, ooh, Miss Brandy, I'm telling. What? 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 Like, Who's it going to believe? You or me? Hey. <laughs> 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 it slipped out. Shit. Shit. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. So also, okay. So what I want the listeners to truly grasp about doo -doo -doo, Mr. Holiday is how did you even come about? Like, were you sitting in a bar and you were like, blah, 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 blah. you're like, I'm going to turn this into a podcast or like, how did it, was it by accident? Like, how did you decide that this was going to be an actual show that you're going to host? Um, uh, so this is a crazy ass story, uh, that I can get into or I cannot get into it, but it's okay. I grew up in a little town called Cuba, Illinois. All right. And I ended up moving, uh, up to, uh, about two hours away from there North to, uh, to LaSalle, Peru. And I ended up working at a car dealership and this guy comes in from Iowa. And we get to talking and we get to talking about uh, comedy and stuff like that. He goes, you've got to listen to the, he goes, with your humor, he goes, you've got to listen to this podcast called The Dollop. And I go, okay, because I like history. And it's a funny, it's a funny, it's a funny podcast about American history. And it's brilliant. And it's fantastic. But anyway, so this guy goes, I, I said something like, oh, well, I'm not from around here. He goes, oh, where are you from? I go, Little town, probably never heard of it, uh, Cuba, Illinois. He goes, Cuba? My my grandpa's from Cuba. And I go, what? He goes, yeah, Croy. I go, the guy who owns the hard, hardware store? He's like, yeah. And I go, my grandmother's Helen Williams. He goes, Helen Williams damn near raised me up at the hardware store. And I'm like, <laughs> what? So this guy is from, from another state. I'm north two hours from my house, from my home, and we come together at a dealership. So just fucking crazy. But anyway, he told me about uh, the dollop. So I listened to the dollop, and it was very funny. I listened to I listened to all of it, and when I was done, I was like, God, that was great. I need to find something else to listen to, something funny. 
So I started going on iTunes and I'm like looking for funny or uh, Apple podcasts. And I'm like looking for something that's funny. They're like, oh, this is funny. So I listened to it and I go, no, that sucked. That's the opposite <laughs> of funny. And they're like, how about this one? I'm like, that one blew too. So I'm like, how much does it fucking cost to start a podcast? So like, I'm funnier than these fuckers. So um, I get on uh, Amazon and it turns out for a single mic mixer and a microphone, about a hundred bucks. <laughs> so. And they have it. Huh? I love it. <laughs> You saw where there was a need. You're like, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. It, it just, I'm like, God, is this? And they're, <laughs> they're charting. They're on the charts. Like, how the fuck are these people on the charts? Like, I don't understand. Like, I'll fucking be a millionaire in a month. And uh, I, 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 I'm i not even close. So uh, anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, after that was over, I, I you know, I got to thinking. Um, I was listening to, a, it was a comedy uh, radio show called Bob and Tom. It's a nationally syndicated uh, radio show, and they bring on comedians and stuff like that. Well, one uh, Thanksgiving, they had people call in and tell Thanksgiving horror stories. And I was rocking back and forth. I thought, what if we open it up? You know, let's get more, you know, like any funny or embarrassing life story. And so that's that's where it came from. It's pretty dope. I like that. This is really authentic. And it is, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, like you said, when people just talk and tell stories, that's what you get, you know? So it's freaking no. genius. You don't there's, have to watch to work. I come home from, from the bar with my sides hurting, you know? Uh, <laughs> you know, like from rocking back and forth a lot from laughing and sometimes from getting my ass kicked, um, but mostly just from laughing. Who uh, did it? Where are they? You need to get it? <laughs> no. That's what I want. I think I've only lost. I think I've only lost like once. That's your back, you know. What I'm saying? It's not but then it was like I think I had that coming. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't funny, huh? To them, <laughs> you can take a fucking joke. God. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> your mother wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of women. Yeah, she lost. <laughs> No, but well, she I, sat I around the house. She <laughs> sat around the house. <laughs> she said, well, this somebody, what was that one? He said, uh, your mom said, uh, somebody said it was chilly inside. <laughs> your mom got a ball and said, where? <laughs> <laughs> where? Where the chili? At? Where's the chili? Where's the chili? <laughs> oh, it's playing. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. But do, do you remember? Do you remember? what mine was. I, I think I know because I probably I I've been I've been I've been racking my brain and I can't remember it. The, the one that stood out was the nipple thing and that cracked me up. So uh but of course it did. Because <laughs> I, 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 I and, and I like nipples. Uh, so uh, was, but I can't remember like what was what was your story? I wish I could uh, remember. I can't remember. I, I remember it because like I'm pretty sure I've adopted more since then but I think I talked <laughs> oh because this is this was a thing that happens to me often, but I think I spoke of when I was uh I think I was out of high school, maybe like eighteen. Yeah, I had to be out of high school or, or senior year, and I went to a party and uh <laughs> went to a party and um you know, I'm very nice um when I'm when I was drinking I was very nice <laughs> right right and so I was uh, went to the restroom right. Not aggressive, you know, but then the next day I get mad. I'm like, gosh, why was I so nice to them? You know, I get mad at myself because I'm not nice to her. You know, I'm like, I didn't like her. I don't want to give her a false, you know. <laughs> but no, I uh, I went into the restroom and a girl came out. She left her phone on the counter. And I'm, I'm using the back. I'm like, oh, my God. You look, you know, you know, people don't give phones back, especially there was a certain. Now it's like you can't do anything with anybody on this phone. But, you know, there's what well, got this phone. Well, actually, what? Depends on what kind of phone it is. You can probably sell it. So people are still right. stealing phones. But I saw it and I just had to. I'm like, oh my god, I got to give it to her. So I finish up and I'm running out. I'm like, hey, you left your phone, right? So this is party, right? Um, and there's this glass door to the patio where everybody is. <laughs> the glass door, and I just go, boom. <laughs> oh, that's it right. Clear. It looked clear. Like I got. <laughs> it was really clean. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen that happen before. Actually, <laughs> I, I, I heard it happen. I heard it happen behind me. I worked at a place and we sold uh, mattresses and I gave this 
rather large woman a good deal on this box spring. And I did it because there was a spot on it, you know? And so, I mean, she got like a really good deal, but there was just, it was just a box spring. One in a fucking mattress. Like nobody's even going to see the spot in it. And, and she comes in and she's just bitching at me. I go, that's the reason I fucking gave it to you for that fucking price. You know, like, and we had this big glass vestibule. And anyway, I got pissed off. I'm like, whatever, fuck off. You know, and I, I'm walking away. And then from behind me, I hear, Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew what had happened. <laughs> and I turned around and she's fucking just fucking stepping backwards, steps over to the door, goes out. And my buddy Ben, who was working with me, goes, dude, you should have seen it. She just stood there and shook like this. <laughs> Ooh, that was hard hit. That was that was an outrance. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, they got clean windows like that. Like you, you guys must have had some clean like. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I I took care of the place. You know, I made sure it was clean. You know, this, this would be a thing. It's too clean. Though. It was a, it was, a uh, it, it was a furniture audio uh, appliance store that I ran for like several years. I managed for a long time, uh, and and I, I'm like I was one of those. Uh, you know what? If you're gonna come at me with a, with a problem, it better be a real problem. You know, right? Don't make shit up. Don't lie to me. Don't I get because I get real pissy about that kind of thing. I know I'm funny, but when you don't come in and fucking lie to me, I hate that shit. You know, like, and it was funny. I like I turned around to storm off, and I just hear that boom. <laughs> <laughs> and the building kind of shook a little. She was a bigger lady. And <laughs> She's like, I didn't mean it. She probably wanted to, like, uh, you know how you have your, your outtrench. You're just like. She, she came running out. in with the bowl saying, is it chilly inside? You know? <laughs> Went back to you. That was yours. That was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it was that 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 one, and then it was the pole. The pole. Not the stripper pole. Not the stripper pole. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, the yeah. pole. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> whole different one. <laughs> Let me ask after hours. Uh, my voice. <laughs> All right, we're signing out, everybody. Let's. Uh, no. I'm serious. I have another idea for you, but no, I'm saying about the fault because it's really fucked up. What happened, right? Really Is it going to be the stripper up. podcast? Are we going to interview strippers? Is that what we're going to do? I considered it, but the bloopers. <laughs> I was thinking about porn stars too. Like, uh, yeah. I could see it. Different kind of pole. <laughs> right? Yeah. Poles that they, they find and they attach it, attach it back on. Like, how do they do that? Like, yeah. How'd you feel when you're selling dick on the side of the world? Like, they have to go get it. Yeah. That was funny. Like, she said, I fuck this dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't know what you just done. You just made him famous because now he's a. How how we got here right now? This is how we got here. <laughs> the journey just continued. Yeah, like, there's uh, there's you there's do know what I'm talking about. The road, there's yeah. forks in the road. You never know which way you're gonna go. It's all good. That's where, that's where it took yeah. me. That pole took me there. But no, it was the pole at school. It wasn't oh, a pole. pole. This was a school pole. Okay, and that's what I ran into. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I was there was some guys on the side, and I had my girlfriends in the back, like. They were my crew, but it's kind of like my crew. They should have been at that point because them bitches saw speak my language, but they saw that pole. They saw me heading for that pole. <laughs> then I look at the guys, you're like, hey, 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 hey. you just talking shit. You're like, whatever, whatever. And as soon as I turn around, <laughs> it's just like I turn around, like the first thing I do just like somebody just oh. and the you all you see is them just like, oh, just dying looking at yeah. I'm just like oh, here, here's how it went down. Like, like one of them's gonna go, Crit! and the other one goes, shh, shh, no. No, just watch. Right. I was thinking, like, y'all y'all was behind me. Y'all knew. They knew. Everyone knew. They was like, watch this shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, none of my friends, none of my friends would have said shit. They would have just watched it happen. What if I got a concussion? Yeah. Just, ow. Now, I did go running out of my Uncle Terry's house. And this is back in Fulton County. And it's, it's a fairly rustic uh, area, Fulton County is, in Illinois. There's not a lot of... Not a lot of business, not a lot of population, not a lot of, and so he had a clothesline. And I went running out of his house to go back to my truck and his clothesline hit me like just right the forehead, right above my eyes. And literally it looked like one of those cartoon things where your feet just hang out in front of you for a little bit, go ling, 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 ling. <laughs> and, then, and, then, 
and then you just drop to the ground. So it was a good four or five foot just, oh my just backflop, just boom. <laughs> They're just oh, laying my. there going, just like, uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. Are those always the funniest ones when we like fall or like hurt ourselves? Those seem to be the funniest, the funniest. That's why America's funniest videos is, is, is what it's going on. Like it's 200th year now, I think, or something like that. That's the one that with Bob Saget, that was his, right? No, not America's home yeah, funniest. Yeah, Bob Saget, yeah. Yeah, watching people hurt themselves. Seems to be shit, right? If, you ever, if you've, <laughs> never, you've never watched uh, the Aussie man on YouTube, uh, he has a whole compliment compilation of something called Destination Fuck, and it's a fucking scream. It's nothing but people just eating it. I mean, <laughs> just like some of them, I got like I got to look away. Like, oh god, no, I see that's coming. Some of like the worst ones, right? Like, oh, yeah. like that's gonna be bad. <laughs> I, can't, I can't watch this. <laughs> like, I like the ones where it looks like they should have broke their neck, like you like when they do like some kind of trick and like they land on their neck. You're like, what? They're obviously dead, right? <laughs> you're like, no, thanks. Let me get this. Nothing what about, better. What about yours? Like, did you? Have, I don't know if we ever talked about that because I didn't have you on. I was on your show. But what was yours? Like, had, did you ever talk about your most intimidating or embarrassing? Has anybody ever asked you, have you been getting away with this? Hmm. Turns out uh, <laughs> I've never had anything embarrassing or funny ever happen to me. So, woo. What you talking about, Willis? Nobody's ever asked you, nobody put you on blast. No, God, everybody's put me on blast. I was gonna say, really? Uh, actually, not on, not on my show, not on my show, not many people. Uh, we did, I did have this uh, psychologist on, and she's like, uh, she turned it on me. She goes, Well, I want to hear about you. And uh, she goes, You tell me a story. And then Stabby sits there and he starts telling a story and he, he gets done. And I, I'm just sitting there and she goes, Well, now you, you tell me a story. And I go, No. <laughs> she goes, why? And I go, because it's my fucking show. And then she's like, because I guess she's done this to a lot of people, like kept fucking with them, you know? And Sounds I was like on to her. I was like, no, <laughs> it's my fucking show. And then she she goes, you're the first person who's caught me on that. And Stoppy looks at me and I just slap him in the forehead like, <laughs> So it's like a, a thing she does, like they don't even realize yeah. she's done it because she's like a yeah, she's, you know, sort of. She's mind fucking the every, every like every podcast she's been on, she's been able to mind fuck them. And and I knew what she was doing. Uh, like, and he's just sitting there telling a story, and I'm like, God damn it. Like, and she's like, me, I'm like, no, she's like, what? This is my fucking show, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. That list gave me a whole nother idea, my fuck. But it's like a psychologist, like this fucks with people, like they don't even see it coming, right? Mm -hmm. and, you know, that would be very interesting. <laughs> hmm, things that make you go. Hmm. Hmm. But now, for you, for you, like, right? I know that humor, like you love to laugh, uh, and like I'm pretty sure you could say that humor is another way of um, people being able to deal with certain you know what i mean like the world is like right now like the last few years yeah. have been so uh, intense actually, so. uh after i get done doing this you know uh what i like to do is just go in the other room and cry for a good <laughs> half hour or so um you got this thing because of, like it goes one side or the other and you can't tell because of the the camera's backwards so like this feels like it's over here when it's <laughs> so uh, anyway no honey it's stuck I'm, <laughs> no, I'm always just kind of this this way, you know, like no, I love like, it. I like it. Yeah, like I said, I wish I could get my wife down here because uh we sit there and do nothing but uh talk back and you know, she tells me about work and everything, you know, of course, normal life stuff, you know, but but we laugh so so much. Like it's it's just a a positive, it's just a positive thing in our lives to, to be able to laugh, you know, and, and it keeps everybody loving. And, and I don't know, you know, I, I, I couldn't imagine like going 
uh, going to somebody's house. You've been at those people's houses. They they just bitch back and forth at each other, and and uh, and then they ask you shit like, "Am I right? Am I right? Is she right? Is she right?" Like, God damn it, you know. Like, and so I finally, when that kind of thing has, I, I finally started just telling the truth. Yeah, you're fucking wrong. You're right. <laughs> How's that go? You're both wrong or both of you get a fucking divorce and that'll make you the bad guy. And then they'll be happy. That work? That's what happens? Mm -hmm. Like, just you tell, them the tell them they're both wrong. They'll hate you and that'll make them happy. Because then they, the have, they have a common foe. They're like, Shh. yeah, they got a common foe. This guy. That is so I, generous of you. I, I fix relationships. Exactly. That's what, what I do. I was like, noble. You're welcome. I know. I know, <laughs> right? Am I not the most noble? <laughs> and I humble. Like you for a reason. I know I liked you for a reason. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's just, it's like, it's just, you're, you're a breath of fresh air. So that's why, you know what I mean? The reason why I, I didn't hesitate, but it wasn't just like, but when I, I was like, gotta have them on because you told me in the past, you're like, Randy, I'm not even going to do that to you. I'm not even going to come on your show and talk it up. <laughs> that I got a mouth like, oh. I'm like, no, it's okay. You're like, no, no. I was like, all right. Now, back then, I didn't know. You know what I mean? I was still like seasoning my salt, you know, my my flavor and all that shit. Now, it's just like, you know, maybe it wasn't then. I think better now than then because I'm more seasoned, right? We have more Absolutely. to laugh about. We have a, a history, right? You know, you were you were very smooth to begin with. Anyway, I mean, you you had a talent for it. Anyway, you've got a talent to talk back and forth. It's and 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 here's the thing. Like, it really, I mean, people can go to school. They can do anything they want for broadcasting or anything like that. But I mean, either either you have a flair to be able to communicate with people or you don't. And that that's not something that's you can't read a book to do it. Yeah. You know, you can't take a seminar to do it. And you can't because there's two things. It's called fear and timidity. And if you have either one of those things, when you're going on like something like that, and this is a lot easier than doing stand up, like stand up, your fear and timidity is yeah. looking here and it's, it's really hard to control, but, and you can use it as energy or you can use it to get in the corner and cry and rock back and forth. Um, but, uh, but yeah, a fear and timidity is, is, is one of the biggest, uh, killers and, and and you can't unteach it yeah you know yeah. It, it's it's very hard it's like gun shy to a dog like once a guy dog's gun shy it's always going to be gun shy it's never just going to stand there when you, you know you hunt a pheasant or something that yeah <laughs> that's my that's my backwoods talking back there that's my golden <laughs> county you're crazy that is true though you do have to have like a you know what i mean like a, a neck because some people can just sit there and just be so dull or just like, or just like fake, you know, like they're faking their, like scripted, but kind of, yeah. but like not natural. Like how and we just, know, and shit. I'm not knocking, I'm not knocking other podcasts, you know, I mean, because everybody needs a way to create, uh, you know, to uh, get themselves out there and to, you know, um, promote themselves or, or, or create, to right. create. Um, and, and I, and I don't um, disparage any of them. I've just seen a lot of them that need to be disparaged. <laughs> Healthy criticism, right? Or hopefully they go back and they watch. They go back and watch. <laughs> Here's an idea. Stop it. <laughs> no, 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 no. But no, seriously, like your, your show. So lately, so are you on a, um, are you like currently like doing shows or are you um i've you been I've, I've been kind of on a hiatus for like the last uh I was gonna I, use I, the, the last one i did i did it a couple weeks ago was with uh dayton gabbard and dayton gabbard uh he is um uh, he plays uh nightwing or robin on uh it's a uh, it's on a youtube uh show called a batman story i think it's called luke a batman story and uh, it, it's really good. And he's got a lot of things coming out. Uh, he's a fantastic act, actor. Look him up. His name's uh, um, Dayton Gabbard. Okay. And he's got a lot of things coming out. And my wife looked at him and said, this guy could go. He could either be uh, the good guy hero or he could go villain. Like he has that look where he could go either way. And he, he was 
he was running late. It was like an hour late because he was late shooting and he had to do it. He did the podcast in his car. And as the show's going on, you can literally see it getting darker. Like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, well, he's like, if you don't have any other questions, I got to go because, well, I got to drive for another hour and a half and it's dark. Because <laughs> like, he's in a parking lot someplace. And I'm like, sounds fair. From room to room next to my bathroom in my basement, this has been <laughs> my worst holiday. Hey, you're pretty good if you can do your podcast in your car, like, in. Yeah. For a successful show, then I'm. Yeah, you like okay. my, you like my studio? It's a Buick. <laughs> That's freaking amazing. You could turn anything into a podcast. That means you're that good. Well, that that good. yeah, he was in the pod. He was in his car. I was in here. But... I mean, same thing. <laughs> same thing. Yeah, I, I can be funny. It doesn't matter if I've got that or. Didn't you do something different? Remember, there's once up. I said once upon once upon a time, you either it was on camera or you set up or you moved to a different room. Something happened. It was a change or you changed your setting or your setup. Oh, I've changed my setup several times. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I used to have some sort of a like starry night mm -hmm. thing behind me, and uh, before that, like you should have seen this. Oh God, this room was it was something else before I got a hold of it, but. Hey, that was you evolving and like you know what I mean. That's what that's yeah. what we do. That's what I got an older house and I've been doing like a lot of work to it. And this was just this small room, like off to the side of a bathroom. Well, it wasn't even a bathroom. Here's how. So when I say from a room next to my bathroom in my basement, here's how it went down. <laughs> when I moved in to here, uh, I came down the stairs. When I looked at it first time, I came downstairs, and it's an older house. And older houses, I guess, used to do this in the Midwest. I don't know about anywhere else. But I go down the stairs, I turn left, I look over, and there's a toilet and a sink. No walls. Just interesting. The toilet and the sink. <laughs> and I thought, and then right next to that was an old storage room. So I thought, you know what would be great? Walls and a door. So I built <laughs> walls yeah. and a door now so to get to my room you've got to go through my bathroom to get to this room there's no other way in you got to go through my bathroom into this room bathroom. This room. Awesome. what happened what did i go what? you got to go through your bathroom to get what to, room again uh, to my studio <laughs> yeah to my studio. oh oh okay so, at so therefore, it's in a room next to my bathroom in my basement. So do you ever hear any um, awesome things <laughs> from that room? Uh, no, 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 uh -uh, no. The, the bathroom's closed off when I'm in the, mm -hmm. other than like Jay or Sally <laughs> pissing, you know, like they, they get to get up and they get to go piss. And I like, uh, I'm on yeah, either way, but you hear it, you know, so... That's all you never like have an oopsie, like I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, oops, did you hear that? <laughs> like, oops, I didn't mean to. Sorry, <laughs> nicely done, Brandy. Nicely done. I about did a spit take. <laughs> At a girl, <laughs> no. proud of you. Proud of you. You're welcome. I try. No, I'm really trying to go funny. I'm trying to go funny. I, I, don't, I don't say that to everybody. He doesn't. <laughs> I'm special. I am. Tell me I'm special. It's like, I'm kidding. <laughs> Do you You're remember special. that guy? That's... You're special. Do you remember that guy that, that cynic sensibly? Yeah. Right. Sean Pratton. Yeah, sensibly yeah. cynical. Sean Pratton. Great guy. Did you have him on? He had that sounds so weird. I he, I was on him. I he had I he had me on his show. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> that was hard to get. I was on his show. Yes, yes. I, I yeah. didn't have him on. Yeah, I was on his. Okay, Sean's a great guy. Yeah, great yeah. Guy. We had a good time. He was very easy to um he had a, like his whole thing was different, like how he uh does his show, but we had like good cool topics and stuff, so I really like dug that episode. He's he's almost very hip hop. 
you know, in the way that he, the way he talks and acts, he's like very, he's very hip hop. Like, like me, I, you, like this dude, it doesn't get much whiter. <laughs> That's is, why I love him. You're so white. <laughs> I, just, I should start a, I should just start a podcast called Caucasian as fuck. But I think it would, it would, it would attract the, the wrong element. So I don't, I don't want that. I I don't want that element. So anyway, um, but, <laughs> but yeah, but he's very sweet and he's a teacher. He's very cool. He's, I like Sean. Sean's just a, he's a great guy. He did he's a great guy. He wanted me to come on and it was a while back and I got busy and I forgot to get back to him. And I, I still kind of regret that because, uh, yeah, because we keep up a very good relationship as well. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I liked him. I didn't know. I don't think we covered the teacher part, but that's very interesting because I think we yeah. would about that but yeah yeah, he's a, yeah, yeah, yeah he's a substitute teacher he's, he's super cool if you just look at him you, you never you never can't judge book by his cover or would you be judging anyway but you just wouldn't expect like oh that's cool like okay he can talk about anything and everything i've had some uh i've had some really good comedians on lately too um what was his name uh let me get back to it um I was going to ask you, too, about comedians. Like, have you ever had a comedian that wasn't funny on your show? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I've, had some, I've had some great comedians. Uh, where is he? Looking for him. Looking for him. Dan Friedman. Dan Friedman has, uh, uh, he's got a, on YouTube, if you look it up, it's a, um, and God bless her, Ju Judy Tenito. Uh, a goddess of comedy uh, left us a couple weeks ago, and she was fantastic. Uh, she was part of the LBGTQ, but she's like she's like from the big comedy boom back in the '90s. She held an accordion, and she dressed. She was very pretty. She dressed as like a, a Greek goddess, and she called men pigs. You know, but she she was so funny. But um, there's a there's a uh, a documentary called One Nighters. And it's got Dan Friedman on it. And Dan Friedman is fantastic. And, uh, oh, what's the other guy's name? Uh, he, uh, Phil, P Phil P uh, Perrier. Uh, Phil's the one who did the documentary. But it's those guys, like, back in the 90s, actually driving from city to city. And uh, there's two great comedians on there who's, who's left us, Judy Tenuto and Timmy Wilson. And uh, they, they were fantastic. Just great. But... Uh, but yeah, look up uh, Phil Perry uh, Perrier. He's been he wrote for Arsenio Hall. He wrote for Jay Leno. He wrote for um, God damn it, who else? Uh, yeah, Jay Leno, Arsenio Hall, George Lopez, and uh, there there was another one that he wrote for. He's just fantastic. Definitely check that out. I'm in for some laughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I'm like, I wonder if you ever had comedians on and like they were funny, but they just weren't funny on the show. You know, oh, you get a whole oh, comedian and you're oh, like, where's the funny? God. Bruce Valanche, Oscar winning, Oscar winning, Tony winning comedy writer was the center square on, uh, on Hollywood squares. This guy, I was over the moon. Like, oh my God, I got Bruce Valanche. This guy's won Oscars and Tonys and for comedy and everything. And I'm I'm expecting this machine gun of I'm I'm expecting to just be blown back like that Maxwell guy on the tape commercial that he gave. <laughs> no. I wrapped it up early. <laughs> That's what he said. No, I'm swear kidding. to God. <laughs> swear to God. I wrapped it up early. I'm like Are you having a bad day? I I, I can only hope so. I can only hope so. <laughs> I like I have no shit like and he's a big LGBTQ he's, he's this big gay guy he used to wear uh I remember he used to wear this t-shirt on Hollywood squares and it and it had to look like a Snickers bar except for it said liquors I'm 80 that was 80s right 90s 80s 90s 90s it was 90s yeah mm -hmm. I mean it's so funny the guy was so funny and I was like holy shit I'm I'm interviewing somebody uh, well, I have somebody on my show because I don't really interview. I had somebody on my show that's on that was center square of the Hollywood squares. And I remember the genius of Paul Lind being on there, you know, like what it took to be that center square. And, it, uh, you know, I, I did the uh, I did the joke. Uh, 
I'm part of the LGBTQ circle gets a square, uh, you know, community too. And uh, he didn't laugh. <laughs> hey, well, can always be funny, right? Yeah, damn it. Maybe it's funny that he wasn't funny. I don't know. I don't know. If it's yeah, no, 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 it wasn't. It really um, wasn't. You poor thing. You poor thing. <laughs> God damn. I felt so. I was just <laughs> so disappointed. I, I walked out. Like my wife sitting in the, in the in the basement in the chair, and I and and, and I walk out. She goes, "Well, well." And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I go just. I absolutely felt defeated and drained. You're like getting excited, and you're like, oh, oh. yeah, exactly. <laughs> by the way, by the way, uh, uh, if you're if you're in the midst of lovemaking and you see a commercial with Wilford Brimley on it, <laughs> same thing happens. <laughs> what happened? What happened? <laughs> Wilford Brimley happened. I want to talk to you about diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Well. <laughs> this is it, it actually it actually and this is weird it actually makes that pac-man sound when he dies that's what i said <laughs> well we both did it's kind of simultaneously oh no 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 it's no, okay no. baby give me five minutes we'll be back <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a, a commercial on with, uh, I don't know, Selma Hayek. It'll be all right. I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> She's hot as fuck. She's like 50. She's still hot as fuck. <laughs> that girl's banging. Say again, say banging. Banging. Uh, say like flavor. That girl banging. Uh, uh. See, see, he's all, what do you call yourself? Like the whitest the cock? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> that had flavor, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I, uh, I don't even. I don't even remember the name of the podcast I was gonna call it. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm super. I'm, I'm real white. Well, uh, my my buddy Cameron, um, uh, he's black, and his son CJ, and uh, they are just you know. Uh, they raised two amazing children. CJ was the uh, assistant coach, defensive coach for the um, uh, uh, Minnesota Golden Gophers. And now he's coaching at South Dakota as a defensive coach. Uh, their daughter is a super influencer. And I mean, she's uh, she's a bigger girl and she owns it. You and she, about her. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she's like she's she's like walking down the beach, like in a bikini and mm -hmm. just owning that shit. And she's got deals with Samsung. She's got deals with Nike, Adidas. I mean, this girl's a fucking force. And what, my wife just told me about another one today. What was it? It was, uh, I can't remember what she told me about. But the, the girls are just a force. Just They raised two beautiful, uh, uh, Stacy, his wife, is white and he's black. And so eat it, you prejudiced fuckers. And, 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 and anyway, uh, uh, they're just fantastic. But anyway, we're out golfing. And uh, CJ and I would go to do the the hand thing like this, and I'm like, I, I I'm real white. I don't know. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, Why we love you? <laughs> I'm, I'm real white. <laughs> yeah, what up? Like, I don't know. Just get. <laughs> do, do I do a hip check? I, I fuck. I don't know. I, I'm gonna go eat some mayonnaise and a bread. I don't know. <laughs> you do that too. <laughs> Take one thing. We ain't got no meat. No, no. It's a veggie sandwich, but no veggies. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so. yep. but yes, yes, yes. Look, it's at that moment. Look, that's that dry moment. You're like, yes, so back at the ranch, huh? <laughs> back at the ranch. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Right. Somewhere it has to end, right? We can't just laugh all the time. But no, seriously, we we kid, we can. But you know, you know, you mean your wife used to come into the and she'd come get you like it's bed. So, she wouldn't say like that, but you're like, oh, oh no, Brad. <laughs> my, my my beautiful wife, she has to get up, she gets up at like uh 2 30 in the morning and she has to drive like an hour to work. And she doesn't get home till like five o'clock. She's a beast. She's like amazing. Shouts out to what? Yeah, yeah, she still does hang out and everything. Yeah, see, that's why I quit working. I just stay home. I'm like, fuck, she works hard. You know, I should stay home. So <laughs> 
That's how that works. No, I, I, I work my ass. <laughs> That's how that works. I hey. work like a yak. Nobody would judge you though. You know, there's a such thing as how we're not even gonna get into that because it's gonna start off. <laughs> hey, hey, she's about she's about one pay raise away from me being retired. <laughs> as long as she's okay, as long as you have an agreement. Actually, then... you know what she's she's like because I've I've worked I've worked like for 25 years, I've worked all these long, hard hours. And then she's in her position, she's I've watched her go from fucking like eleven dollars an hour to she is fucking crushing it right now. And because she's an amazing force of a human being and she like, I've been in sales for 25 years and uh, my last gig didn't work out. And she said, you're getting a nine to five and you're just settling the fuck down. <laughs> I went, really? <laughs> she's like, yes. She's like, I'm making good money. You're doing fine. She's like, take your foot off the fucking gas. That's awesome. Just do a nine to five. And so now I'm like at a job that I'm like, like, like it's hard to use. To, it's they're good people. They're good people. They really are. They're just not, uh, I'm kind of more of a white collar guy and now I'm doing kind of a blue collar thing. It, like the conversation is not the same. I'll put it that way. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> the conversation is not the same. So like I'm talking about, you know, like Emerson and, and they're talking about NASCAR. So <laughs> <laughs> you have to kind of get on their level. <laughs> I'm talking about the duality of man. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking about the tractor pull. Oh, then you're going to watch the show. <laughs> I can promise you they're never going to watch behind the mic <laughs> hey, it's on, with you. the real brainy <laughs> Jay. Even, even as lovely as you are. And now that I've said this, I'm never going to tell them to watch it, but everybody else should. I'll tell everybody else. <laughs> they're just going to be scrolling one day. Like, you know, like, not, like none of them's even on my, like my Instagram or my, <laughs> Uh, or my Facebook, like I don't, the, the, the truck driver, the truck driver that we have, this is no shit. The truck driver that we have that delivers stuff, we found an Atlas in his truck mm, mm, mm. from 91, a fucking Atlas. There's, there, there's roads <laughs> that exist now that didn't exist. When he bought that fucking ass. He uses it? Yes. How? I don't know. I <laughs> picture him drawing, driving down the road, holding on to the fucking wheel with a big fucking atlas <laughs> opened up and trying to live with somebody's going to fucking die. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't like modern technology. <laughs> Just kidding. But, uh, it's not even like you can say, hey, Siri. Right. Yeah. Hey, Siri. Uh, 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 take me to... A and B, and it goes directions <laughs> from A and B. Like, nope. <laughs> this fucker's like this going down the road. That's a definite ticket. <laughs> yeah, they wow. get mad at us for a phone. They get mad at us for a phone. What about this fucker? <laughs> what about that fucking guy? Hold on. Yeah, no. That, that is a very good point. Oh, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Covered his face. <laughs> uh, route nine, 37. Going on it. <laughs> that fucking guy. Oh, no, no. That, that's one of the things you can say, okay, we appreciate technology for us. Like, stuff like that. An Atlas. A 1991 Atlas. Keep it old school right there. They manage you, sir. Just... Lives matter. People in the world's lives matter. <laughs> Not to those fuckers. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's funny. That's very funny. I try. No, I'm going to have an idea for that, too. But we ain't going to talk I about it right now. <laughs> I have an I idea. Really don't try. It's, it just is. It's so, so suave. It just comes off like, like butter. Mm. I'm smooth, baby. Smooth. <laughs> and smooth like what? Tell the people. Because you used to always like. You guys used to sponsor, like, sponsor, like, the, uh, what am I trying to say? Blah, 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 blah. 
oh, you guys, yeah, the people Miami like Miami bundle cigar cigar bundles of Miami. If you're right. not smoking cigar bundles for Miami, you're a fucking moron. I like the San Andreas Maduros, the pigtails. God, they're so fucking smooth. They are so good, and you're never gonna get a better cigar. I, I'm not kidding. They're hand rolled, and, and and believe me, I smoke a lot of cigars, but. God, that Maduro is so so rich, and it'll last you like, you know. I you know I make fun of people who buy a pack of cigarettes, you know, they're like seven eight dollars or something like that. But and uh, they like, you want to go out for a smoke? And I'm like, well, if I do, I'll have to be there for three and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> like like one cigar, one cigar will last me like uh, probably not three and a half, but like but like a good two, like a good two hours. They're half with their pack. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm a big scotch drinker too. And uh, Irish whiskeys. I like Irish whiskeys and scotch. And there is nothing better than like a, just a good buttery, good whiskey. It's got to be, it's got to be a grain based. It can't be a corn. Corn is an American bourbon and it's bitey. And let's face it, American bourbon suck except for Crown Royal. Um, but yeah, it's smooth. But that, that San Andreas pigtail. Hmm. You just sold right maestro, there. Like, maestro, please. That was a commercial all right there. <laughs> right there. Right there. I like it. But yeah, I do remember that. And then you just said, okay, you know, you have the lingo, like the smooth and all that stuff. So I was like, boom, tell them what mm -hmm. you're drinking. And uh, that'll be a smooth way to get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> that's, that's smooth, baby. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Go and baby. a nice baritone. <laughs> yes. And if you guys didn't know, um, one of my uh seasons because I have so many podcasts. This guy right here was my doo -doo 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 voiceover. You did two, you did uh the kids' version when I had the yeah. kids, and then you did like mine, right? Right, yep, yeah. I remember, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah, it yeah. goes, uh, it's, it's just it gets blurry after so like. You, you like people like oh you got to come on my show you got to come on my show you know like okay you know <laughs> but it gets blurred like so many but that, yeah. that kids one that's right i did the kid was i did the clean one yep yep you sure did Didn't i can't say fuck once yep no it was no cursing it was just <laughs> <laughs> you're a little on out but no it was amazing right um because you like have the perfect like uh like voiceover like Voice, you would never know it's you. So oh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I did the. Uh, yeah, I did the. Uh, the lead is like of that for you. Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Remember, voices of courage. Voices of courage. I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> that's right. Voices of courage. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm I love that. It. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I I, I like doing voice work. I, I uh, you should really do. I haven't it. done a long, like nobody's asked me to do it in like a long time, but I I love doing voice work. Don't worry, I'll ask you to do it. Voice over, voice over, <laughs> not vo just voice work, not voice over. Otherwise, yeah. like if you do voice over, like you're gonna have to do like you do with your uh, your little TikToks and stuff like that. Like uh, <laughs> you move your mouth and then I talk. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brandy Joy. <laughs> That'll be a sight. That'll be a sight. My nipples are hard. <laughs> My nipples are hard. No, this is behind the mic. Okay. It's about behind, being behind the mic. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm behind your mic. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> that's after hours. Okay. After I'm hours. Messenger. Behind the mic. Oh, here, here he goes. Behind the mic. After hours. <laughs> see, see, you got that. See, look, and then this is why you're gonna do what you're gonna do here in a minute. That's why your nipples are hard. So <laughs> I'm not even gonna say that out of line because I respect your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't playing with your wife. You know I mean, I don't want no. I want a problem. Nope. <laughs> I don't want no redhead problems. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You want some of this? No. <laughs> Remember Friday? He said, you want some of this too, old man? No. Nope. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> seriously. I, I have this this great idea, right? Because I, I can keep asking you and keep you here like all night, all day. Right? So, let's let's sign out. 
and then we'll uh i'll let you let, let's talk about your idea after that uh after we get out of here and uh Brandy, you have the floor. Tell everybody about you. Tell everybody about your show. Tell everybody where they can find you. Baby, go. Don't be trying to play that psychiatrist shit on me. This is my show. <laughs> that even makes sense. Like, not about me. It's about you. They need to know where, where they can you find have the privilege of listening to Behind the Mic with Brandy J, everybody. If you're not listening to her, you're a fucking idiot. You are. You really are. Like, Really it's true. It's true. No disrespect, but it's true. Um, okay, because I'm I the. Say, uh, I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Right, right. Like I might not be the best, but I'm one. Of the, I've been in the game for a minute. Okay, you're in the game. Long. You're in the game. Hey, listen. Only 1.2 percent of people get in the NFL. You're in the fucking game. Yes. Of course, we recognize it. Used to be called places right. of wait. A voice to be reckoned with. That's not the name of my show anymore. It's voices it, was of a, it was a voice to be reckoned with, and that's what I did a promo for. I did a promo for that one as well, as well as uh, Voices of Courage. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Just who knew? But, 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 because we're winding down our funny time, and then we're going to go have a little backstage funny time. Just, just snip it. Backstage. I left the boy in the conference, so he can't be me for too much longer. <laughs> I'm sure the boy's out of the conference by now. Uh, uh, Probably took no notes. Randy, I, I love you. We, we've been on for a, an hour six, so the boy is definitely off the conference right now. Mm -hmm. I know. He he's, probably definitely, took no notes. he's definitely signed off, unless the teacher's getting really weird with him. <laughs> Some of the questions he can't answer. <laughs> exactly. How do you feel about older women, she said. He's like, well, I kind of... But he's doing it in your voice now, so she's like, oh... I'm in the right. brandy. <laughs> we need to have a parent meeting yeah. at the house. <laughs> a parent, parent meeting. What do you say? Yeah, drop by. No, never. Uh, how about we do a sideshow parent teacher conference? <laughs> so you just gave me another idea. Okay, so I should get paid for this, but I'm not going to talk about it because I have so many great ideas. And this is not about me. This show is behind the mic with. I, I, I've got a few. I've got. <laughs> I've got one that's a that's a really serious one. That's like that's a, a kind of historical. Uh, but anyway, but I got one. But wait, wait, wait. Are you? I mean, no, shit. I'm not going to say it on here. I'm oh, going to say okay. it on here. So some fucker <laughs> goes. That's a great fucking idea. No, right. right. <laughs> Right, you're right. He doesn't even have it patented yet. By the way, fuckers, mine's patented. Suck it. So <laughs> that's true. That's true. Good thinking. Okay. So we are going to go to LLC bitches. Great minds gotta go think together. <laughs> on that note, on that freaking note. Ink. <laughs> like, no, murder like no because murder. Myworldholiday.com. <laughs> Mr. Holiday Esquire. It's okay, guys. Don't All be right. scared. All right. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, seriously. No, seriously. I would like you in that voice you do, like uh, take them out voice and be like, tell them where they can find you, uh, your your platforms and your social media, everything. Um, where's Holiday? No, oh, Holiday. Oh, mine? Yeah. But do it in your voice. Really? Like your, your, this is yeah. Okay, fuckers. The device is in your hand. It's this easy. All you got to do is, do is go to myworstholiday.com or my worst holiday podcast on YouTube and like, subscribe. If you like somebody, if you like Brandy, if you like behind the mic, it's the easiest thing that you can do. The device is in your hand. Like, subscribe, leave information for us fuckers. It's that fucking simple. Also, you can find me at me, my, me, me, my. You can find me at my worst holiday at patreon.com. If you like my show, give it a dollar. If you like her show, give it a dollar. It's not that much fucking money. It's the cheapest entertainment you're ever going to get, and you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So, with that being said, from a room next to my bathroom in my basement, this has been Behind the Mic with Brandy J. And I had to do no work after that, so I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> No, really. Thank you guys for joining us. Until next time, this is Behind the Mic, Brandy J. And my worst holiday. I <laughs> said, fuck it up all the time. <laughs> Podcast on YouTube.